This is charged particles moving in a magnetic field, and this is a ranking test, because the last part of it, if you've gotten there, is ranking. So it gives you some things, ask about the charges of them, and then ranking them twice. Um, so the first thing we're going to do for A is we're going to look at our very basic equation of R means radius equals mass times the velocity over the absolute value of the charge times the magnetic field. A asks, who is neutral? So first, your assumption is probably correct here. Uh, your answer is D. And that's because there's no radius. This goes in a straight line, which means there's no Q right here. So radius is zero, and that's how that's going to work. And B asks, who is negative? So this is something you don't really see in the equation, but it's, uh, if you read the textbook, if you look at any of that, you're going to see that if Q is negative, it goes clockwise, which is this direction. So if you have a circle, it's going like this. So that means when it comes into our field right here, it would be going to the right, like this one. Because it goes here. That is a clockwise movement. The rest of those are all going counterclockwise. So the answer for B is A. Now let's look at C. C is asking us to rank them on the basis of their speeds. So we know that radius equals mass times velocity times the value of charge times that. So right off the bat, you can see that there's a direct relationship between velocity and radius. However, we do not know their charge. They tell us the mass is equal, but they don't tell us anything about the charge. So since there's two different variables in there, you cannot be determined. And then last one is D. Now this is to rank them, assuming that the charge is equal. A, B, C, and E. We're not looking at D because that has no charge. Now they're telling us the charge is equal, so we're going to go ahead and rank those. So we have the same equation, R equals MV times QB. We know that MQ and B are equal, so we're really only looking at R equals B. So as R goes up, V goes up. If we look at our radiuses, A is greater than B is greater than C, which equals E. So you're probably going to put something like this in those boxes, just based on the radius. A is the biggest, and then here comes B here, and then C and E are the same. 